funny place to start the video I would have started in the living room but we just couldn't so I really wanted to make sure that I finally got a hair care type of video out to you guys with both the girls mostly when it comes to wash day we tried this before it did not work out so I'm hoping since we put the little light in here that's why it's a little bit bright that we have a little bit of a better chance of having success so because of that, this is where we're starting. We're starting out in the bathroom. Let's go ahead and get this wash day thing. There's going to be a lot of different products that I haven't used before, but we're just going to hope for the best. So before I get her settled in here, I'm going to show you how I have the little station where I usually do her hair. Sometimes I do it in the shower, sometimes I don't, but I usually put the little bumbo thing right here on the counter and usually do her hair in the window you can see the little soft box right there but we're gonna go ahead and get this started because they're in the tub playing a little bit and yeah we'll just kind of go from there so we're gonna go ahead and start this wash and go process with Nala I just want to let you guys know this is not an easy process this process can be very long and tedious uh but you look look at her look <laughs> see this is probably half the fight um since being in quarantine she doesn't really like her hair to be touched because i haven't been touching it as often as i used to so i really gotta do better in that but first off we're gonna go ahead and wet the hair wetting the hair is the most important part for i feel products to penetrate the hair this product right here is something I never use. It is Mixed Chicks Deep Conditioner. I have heard about this years ago when I went through my big chop process and started using more natural products without sulfate and stuff like that. As you can see, I use a good amount of product. I wet it, I put product, I wet it to try to really get it through the strands. So I don't know what it looks like on camera, but I'm not being rough with her hair at all. But she doesn't really like her hair to be touched, like I said now, so. Look at her, she already looks irritable. And as you can see, this is what it looks like after it is combed through. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash off this section. And since the hair was already kind of in sections, I didn't really have to specify me putting the sections. But if it wasn't like this, um, I would make sure that I at least split it in half or in threes and wash that section at a time. All right, so off to the section. I usually like to use the bucket of water, which is actually a part of her little playset, but I use a little bucket of water because it is really hard for me to not get water face. So I'm trying to put this on the best way I can. I think it was like $10 on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Wash your hair. Penetrate it, add water, add product, add water, add product, break it through a hair, and then comb it as fast as possible. So I'm trying my best to get into sections because I don't want to end up breaking her hair, ripping her hair because I'm doing too large of sections. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse off her hair, her whole head, as much as possible. Clearly, I couldn't really get the roots uh, or the edges of her hair, but like I said, that's fine. We're going to get it eventually. So now I'm about to put some olive oil 
Um, it's just regular version, extra version olive oil. I always put this in the hair when during the wash. So that is all for baby girl Nala. Dave is gonna go ahead and um, wash her, and we're gonna focus on Noelle Yelly. So I know this is, looks like the Mandela bottle cleaner, but this is pretty much the same shampoo um, body wash that they give you in the hospital. I really love the smell of that one, so I always keep this one. So typically I wash her hair, try to distract her a little bit, play with her, but Noel is very happy baby, so I don't really have to do a lot, but I use the same play thing wet her hair and try not to get it in her face and then just kind of throw it slab it on there <laughs> then I go ahead and use my little rat tail comb to go ahead and comb the product through her hair um, Probably next time I'll end up using a different comb because her hair starts to get longer at this point. So a little rat tail may not even be good enough. Oh, there we go. See, a bigger comb. And I love to see even now in the camera how much this product is doing to her hair. Her hair really reacted to this product so I really like that I'm just gonna keep combing it through until I am completely satisfied going in every di direction and making sure I get the side that she's laying on and the back of her hair and all that then we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off oh all that water in her ear baby Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that olive oil and get it through her hair. And that's pretty much it. All right, so time for the grand finale. Time for the moment that is the hardest to get through. And that is doing Nala's hair. You guys ask me all the time, how do I get her to let me do her hair? And the answer to the question is that she really doesn't let me. I just force my way through it. Uh, usually, as you can see here, I give her something to entertain her. Toys, it's just not good enough for her. She likes to turn on the faucet if you can look in the corner. Say I have to give her like a toothbrush. This is like an extra toothbrush we give her. Um, she likes to end up putting in the water and suck the water out the toothbrush. We just let her get away. But now I am trying to attempt to create parts in the hair, I am guessing. Um, typically, I try to do half her head at a time, but I am parting her hair down, straight down the middle. Sometimes I do straight down all the way from front to back. Sometimes I just do half her head at a time, splitting from ear to ear. It just depends on what seems the best at the time. So I end up grabbing this. This is coconut oil, nourishing rich 10 in one leave in treatment. Uh, I never had used this before, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm testing this out today. And um, turns out I really do like how it turns out. So yeah. This is the Jane Carter's Untangle Me. Uh, I love this stuff. But anywho, I am just um, starting off by parting the front of her hair. The goal is to be able to have a hairstyle that lasts. I don't know where I'm going with this, but the idea is to get some type of twist in her hair. But because I can tell she's already aggravated, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the parting process first. Yeah. 
she is getting aggravated so I pretty much hand her anything that I don't think that she is able to hurt herself. I used to give her a bunch of different toys but she just ended up throwing them on the floor so I find that just giving her something normal that she can play with that I know she can't really figure out. It's on you what you decide to do but this is what works for me. So I'm trying my best to get a decent part at this point, uh, but I don't really care about making it perfect. It is a kid's hair. It don't really have to be perfect in my eyes. Um, so I am just going to make little sections that I feel that are decent at this point. Well, there was a jump cut. I don't know what happened to the footage. I might have just stopped or whatnot because she was getting real frustrated. But I pretty much finished that section. And I really wanted to end up drying her hair because she was getting really frustrated. So I went ahead and put that ponytail in in the back. You can just see me rushing at this point. We gave her her little go-go pouch. So... We are just chiming through the best way we can. But as you can see, she is not still. She doesn't really let me do it. I work around her. She is starting to push off the edging of the window. And this is the main reason why I wanted to get a high chair, which I have posted a video about the high chair because this could be a dangerous situation. Sometimes Noelle is crying and I need to go check up on her, but I can't leave her up here because she's not secure. I did get the high chair. I have done a hair in it and I can honestly say I love it. As you can see, we are finally done. Baby girl is extremely, extremely tired. So yeah, this is a part of life. This is what it really looks like, but her hairstyle is actually complete. That is their complete wash, groom, and style routine. So yeah, comment down below if you have any questions about anything. And we love you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.